had to rely on themselves. Life attempting to imitate art again. The Angels trying to sew it up. Magic numbers one against the Rangers. Top three, David Eckstein, 0 for 13. That is a slump, man at first. That's a line shot, and boy, when it's going wrong, it is going wrong. Double play. Top five, and I'm with a 3-2 lead. Garrett Anderson finds the sweet spot. Number 29, providing a little insurance, a little cushion. Three-run blast to 6-2. Now 6-3 in the seventh. Tim Salmon against Todd Van Poppel. Number 22 for Salmon, and the Angels have an 8-3 lead. Still in the seventh, man on for Scott Spezio. Donnie Sadler has that thing lined up. Donnie Sadler up and over, but Yamo's not in the glove. 12th home run for Spezio. Angels with a 10-3 lead, and they are now cruising toward the postseason. Bottom seven, Ben Weber to Mike Lamb. Check out Adam Kennedy. Adam Kennedy. Terrific play to get his man. Bottom nine, 10-5 Angels. Troy Percival on to finish it off. Kevin Minch. And with that, Anderson is going to put it away, and Socia and the Angels have taken care of business themselves. Clinching a playoff berth here is Jared Washburn. Start of the year, nobody nobody thought we'd be in this position except the guys in this room. So uh, it's a great feeling to uh, prove everybody wrong and achieve our first goal. And uh, now we got some work ahead of us, and uh, hopefully we'll, do, we'll be doing this again. So Eckstein's and so he'll be okay in there. Park the Herald Angels sing glory to a playoff team for just the fourth time in team history. First time since 86, and this ends one of the longest droughts in baseball. Only the Expos, Brewers, and Royals have gone longer between postseason dreams. So the Mariners knew they were eliminated from playoff consideration 15 minutes before they took the field against Miguel Tejada in Oakland. Did I say Tejada with a 2-1 Mariners lead in the ninth? Oh, well, it's a tie game. Tejada, 4 for 5, the first ace since the team moved to Oakland to have 200 hits in a season. That's remarkable. 32nd homer, 127 RBIs. Bottom line, Edgar Martinez. A standing O for a pop-out to the catcher, you bet. Could be his last at bat in Seattle for Edgar. The 16-year career may come to an end. Bottom nine men on third, two out. Billy Koch facing Mike Cameron, 3-2 pitch. That's a delayed call. Strike three by home plate up Tim McClellan. We go to extras, top of the 10, two on, two out. Scott Hatterberg the other way. Randy Velarde would score. Ray Durham coming around to score. A two RBI double for Hatterberg. Oakland is up four to two. So we head to the bottom of the 10th. It's 5-3 Oakland. Koch against Ichiro. Koch pitched two innings for the victory. And that means the Oakland A's have done it again. They become the 18th team to win 100 games in back-to-back Fifth Cy Young in his 24th win. Todd Helton, the new daddy, right back at Unit. Unit deflects it. Tony Womack fields it. Greg Colbert saving Womack with the swipe tag at first. Next batter, Todd Zeal. Zeal pops it up. We have some drama. Foul ground. Greg Colbert, Jr. Spivey converge. Uh-oh. Colburn makes the catch. Take another look just in case you stepped away for another bite of cornflakes. Colburn grabs the pop-up before Spivey can even get it. Whatever works, it's an out. He backs up 1-0. Randy Flores the pitch. The unit. The unit the other way. Larry Walker has thoughts of throwing the first. Walker bobbles it. Unit is safe. Five batters later, bags are full for Matt Williams. You know, Matt, he's a veteran. He had only one hit in this game, but boy, did he pick a good time to hit it. It's a bases-clearing triple by Williams. He's hitting 244. Johnson would score. Womack would score. Colvin would score, and Arizona was up 4 0 in a game really they had to have. Bottom five. As we move along, Flores the pitch, Quentin McCracken puts a charge into it. It is deep. Is it deep enough? Juan Pierre says, No, it isn't, and I'm going to make sure it doesn't get out of the park. All twisted and still makes the catch. Up 4 2 now. Kent Merker. McCracken fouls it off his foot. He's helped off. The injury problems continue for the D backs. 4 2 Arizona in the ninth. Bags full. Two outs for Pierre. Johnson. Looking to go 28 and 1 in September over his last 10 years and does just that. Eight K's in this one. He wins his 24th and the D backs win up two and a half over the Idle Giants. The Cardinals trying to keep pace for their home field advantage in a potential matchup with the Diamondbacks in the playoffs against the Cardinals. Matt Morris gets Bill Hall up. Serving. Morris, a rough couple of outings last two times out, but had it going on. Jorge Fabregas counted to three. Four Ks and seven innings pitched for Morris. Mike Matheny at the plate. Fabregas trying to gun out Renteria. Three is safe. Same at bat now. Matheny 
from grounder to short. Hall is in there for Jose Hernandez, can't handle it, and then he actually just hits the snooze button here, and Renteria does not. Hustling all the way, this is how you play if you're trying to win something and gear up for the postseason. Well, you're not going to pay attention, just going to run score. 3-1 Cardinals. Jose Hernandez was sitting. He's 1K away from the single-season strikeout record. And Hall struck out three times playing shortstop. Bottom five, St. Louis up 6-1. Renteria double. Evans and Chino would score. Cardinals win it 9-1. They are 19-5 in September thus far. Odd raising Dodgers, L.A. Three out of the wild card. Just four to go if they lose. Right, number for the Giants would be one. Hideo Nomo, grounder to Phil Nevin, coming home. Grusselonic's out of there. Still a 2-0 game in the third. Bottom four, tied at two. Jake Peavy against Grusselonic with a couple of men on. This is the kind of a bat you need from your savvy veteran. 11 pitches Grusselonic would see until he found one he liked. Ground rule double. Eric Karras would score. Dodgers taking a 3-2 lead on Grusselonic's 50th RBI of the season. In the sixth, we are tied at three. Hideo Nomo only has three hits all year. Hideo Nomo logs on. He is part of the Gone Network. Taking PV out, his second career homer, first since 98. Dodgers with a 4-3 lead. And in the seventh, Gene Kingsale on first, and Nomo will help. Kingsale going to go all the way around to third on the throw. He would score on a double. Nomo he comes out of there. We get a standing O. He went six, gave up five earned runs. He struck out nine on the evening. Bottom of the eighth, the Dodgers down 5-4. And Marquise Grissom. Marquise Grissom bringing the clutch lumber. His 17th ties it at five. Still in the bottom of the eighth. Runners on second and third. Oh. Doing why you can't have a work stoppage. Emotional investment from your fans. And Brian Jordan, a hero of night earlier, hustling. The former safety is safe. Dodgers with a 6-5 lead. And there is a sense of relief. A little primal scream will make you feel good about it. 6-5 in the ninth. Eric Gagne. Check that out. Eddie Cruz. Why do people their son? Be brave. You got Gagne out there. 50 seconds save. L.A. wins it by a count of 6-5. to five. And so they keep the Giants from reducing their magic number in the wild. 498, his first at bat facing Danny Graves. Graves looking for his first win as a starter. Later in the A.B., Sosa upset with a call. Graves struck out the side in the first. Good start for Danny. Sosa's next at bat, bottom four. There's a hit. First hit of the series for Sammy. Top of the six now as we move along. Carlos Zambrano facing Adam Dunn with a runner on Dunn. On the ground, Bobby Hill dive and stop. The flip to Alex Gonzalez. Nice play by the rookie Hill. Bottom eight, Cubs still down one. Sosa is up again. This is all the makings, but... It's a weak grounder. Aaron Boone makes the barehanded scoop. Sosa has gone 22 at bat since his last home run. And Cincinnati becomes the first team since 86 to win a pair of 1-0 games in the same series at Wrigley. Marlins and Expos. Vlad was going for 40-40, but it was Tim Raines being honored. He was in the starting lineup for his 2500th major league game. Top one, Tim Raines against Tony Armas Jr. Raines has been around long enough to play against Armas' dad. Raines flies out. 0 for 3 on the ninth. Bottom 7. Expos up 4-3. Vlad going for that 40-40. Not quite deep enough. 1 for 4. No homers. Expos win at 4-3. Vlad still sitting on 39 home runs. Minnesota promptly won back-to-back -back playoff type games, winning in their final at bat. But Wednesday's last at bat might have stoked the Indians competitive fire. David Ortiz put the walk into walk-off homer, sort of Cadillacing the final few steps of his trot in the 12th. Ortiz earlier, he's the guy in question. He'd been plunked earlier in that game on Wednesday. Flashback, here's the moment in question. Locked up at 5 in the 12th. There goes number 20. Perhaps mindful of the plunking he had taken. Watch him come down the third baseline. Oh, out for a leisurely stroll. His first at bat, Ryan Drees. Oh, up and in. Get around those bases, pal. Celebrate in the clubhouse, will you? Nothing happened after that. Bottom four, Torrey Hunter. He's bona fide. What are you? Solo shot, number 29, tied at one. Bottom five, Doc Jones back from rehabbing the ankle. Goes upstairs and tomahawks a little sack fly. 84th RBI on the season. Twins with a 2-1 lead. 3-3 game, Coco Crisp against Mike Jackson. I, got, I can't help it. He's cuckoo for Coco Crisp. Drives in Magruder, 3 for 5, and RBI 8 4. The
against the Tigers. And Sweeney, you're going to watch his only hit of the game. So you know what this means? Besides the Royals' victory, Sweeney is now four points behind Manny Ramirez for the race for the AL batting title. He is hitting a 343.